Hello, happy Monday. So today's Monday make is something a little bit different. We're not going to link to an artist this time, but we are going to think about our favourite books because we're going to be making a Dingle Dangle bookend. Now, these have been in my studio for several years and it was a workshop that I ran quite a few years ago to make um, a little bookend that sits with the legs dangling over the side of the shelf. And these are made out of um, fruit shoot bottles or um, water bottles and they're um, made of paper mache. So they take quite a long time to make. So I thought, let's see if we can make it a bit more simpler with other materials that you might have hanging around the house. So I'm gonna show you how to make a cat in the hat um, dingle dangle bookend today. But once you've got the idea of how to do it, you could make any of your favorite book characters. OK, so I'm just going to put this one down and I'm going to show you how we do it. But first, let me just read out um, the materials that you're going to need. So you're going to need a toilet roll. OK, you're going to need some newspaper, some masking tape, some felt or black paper, some glue, some scissors, black red white paint and acrylic really is the best paint to use for this you'll need a paintbrush some cardboard and um, some red ribbon and if you don't have that just a little bit of red paper okay let's get started so the first thing we need to do is make our body and you're going to need some newspaper for this you're going to scrunch it up into a ball nice and tightly like this because this is going to make the head okay and then what you're going to do is get another piece of paper like sort of a rectangle and put it over the top like that so then that's going to make it um sort of smoother and then you're going to twist it like this okay so that you've got a long bit almost like making like a lollipop okay and then what you're going to do with your masking tape, you're going to just put some masking tape around that bit that you've twisted just to keep it in place. Now, rather than doing a traditional paper mache, which is where you're getting layers of paper and you're putting glue over the top of them to make it really strong, we're going to be doing it in a, a sort of a cheap um, paper mache by using masking tape and this um, this masking tape which you can find in most DIY stores hopefully you've got some kicking around in your sheds at home um, but this is great because it's it speeds up the process of making paper mache but it also um, because it's it's like a paper surface it's really easy to paint so what you're doing is you're putting some masking tape now You've gone down, down the, um, the length that we've got, um, we've got there. Um, and then what we're going to do is go around the head because what we're doing is forming the head and making it just a little bit more solid, ready for when we come to do our painting. So ripping off bits of masking tape like this and sticking it all the way around the head until you've covered the whole of that sort of round section. Okay, now I, with my cat in the hat, um, I'll stick him up there so that you can see. That's actually made out of um, a plastic bottle and I, I didn't have a plastic bottle to hand. Um, but if you've got a plastic bottle, you could pretty much do this, this, the same process and, and do it on a plastic bottle if you wanted to. And you could fill it with some water or sand just to weight it down a little bit. But um, this idea is, is, is just as good just by using um, a disused to, um, toilet roll, cardboard inner. 
okay. So we've got our, our head and then what we're going to do with our, um, our toilet roll is we're going to just do some little snips about a centimetre down around the top rim of our roll like this. And the reason we're doing that is to just be able to form a neck. Once you've you've um, done those slits, you can start pushing in where we've um, we've cut. So you can see that now that's kind of going in that sort of shape. And what you can do is just drop your head down inside the roll like that, and then you you can push the neck sort of tight around it and then what you're going to do is use the masking tape to bring that in and secure it and you can see now that we're starting to get a head and a body shape okay like that Now what you're going to do is put a bottom to your um, your body because we need somewhere to stick the legs to. So with um, with your um, bottom of your roll, what you want to do is cut out a circle out of some cardboard. This is just a cardboard box, um, and you're going to put that at the bottom of your um, your toilet roll. And again, with masking tape, you're going to stick that on the bottom. Like so. All the way around so that we've got um, a base at the bottom of our, our body. And the masking tape is really easy to, to use because we can just rip it off and stick it on quite quickly so you can see that that's starting to stick to the bottom there like so and then what i suggest you do is put some masking tape all the way around your the rest of the body because then it will um, be easier to paint so here's one i've made earlier so we've got our head um, nicely covered with masking tape all the way down the body and then we've got our um, cardboard in the bottom um, just like the one we started. So now what we're going to do is um, paint our, our, um, our shape. So um, the cat in the hat, I've already printed out a picture so you can do this, have a look on Google um, just to get an idea of what he looks like. And he's kind of got a white face and then he's got um, a sort of a white bib down the front. So what I suggest you do is do the white first. And with a little bit of white acrylic paint. Um, acrylic's really good because it covers so much better than um, poster paint. And what you're going to do is um, choose which side looks the best for the, for the front. Um, and you're going to paint in his face in white and you can see that the paint goes on really really well on um, this masking tape um, that's why you wouldn't want to use sellotape because you wouldn't be able to paint mask uh, paint onto sellotape that's why masking tape is really good because it's it's kind of paper and then you're going to paint down um, onto his sort of body in the front there as well with the white and then what I recommend um, to do to get that dry really quickly is to just use a hair dryer so by giving that a quick blast you can now start to paint the black on his body so um, with another brush, with some black paint, you can now go all the way round the 
his head and his body. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I've already prepared one to show you. Like so. So we've got the white in the front and you want to sort of put your brush strokes over the top of that white because when we look at the, the picture of the, black, um, the cat in the hat, he does actually have quite sort of um, sort of brush strokes around that white. OK, so we've got our body. What I suggest you do now is looking at um, the face while you've got the paint out with a really thin brush, if you've got one. Um, or you could use um, a pen if it's easier, um, like a Sharpie or a black um, felt tip pen. You're going to now paint on his, um, his eyes. So with a nice thin brush. And you can see he's got sort of circles. Two circles like that. And then he's got the two sort of pupils inside. And then he's got a little black nose. And a really, really big wide smile. And you could add a few dots where his whiskers are going to go. And he's also got quite expressive um, eyebrows. So we're just going to put those in as well. And then what we can do is we can put that to the side and let that dry. OK, so that's all the painting side of things done for a minute. What we also need to do is make this hat. So to make the hat, you need to cut out a big circle of card for the, the brim, like so. And if it's easy, you can draw around um, something if, if it's easier to, to actually get that circle. Um, and then what you want to do is cut a rectangle out of cardboard to make the top part of his hat because he's, he's got this, this um, top hat that he wears and then with the cardboard you can kind of form that into a cylinder like that. Sort of press quite hard to really get it to bend and then with your masking tape you can then stick that down To make your cylinder like so and then what we're going to do is make another little circle to go on the top and I'm just kind of guessing the um, the, the shape that you need the size that you need but if it's easier what you can do is put that down onto some cardboard and draw around it if you want to get the exact um, size then we're going to put that bit of cardboard on the top and again using masking tape to stick it down um, in several directions so that it's nice and firm so I'm going to go that way to start with so I've gone across and now I'm going to go across the other way and what's great about the masking tape is that you can sort of press it and, and put it into position and if there's any sort of bits that are pointy, you can sort of push them down and smooth the edges down. So now we've got the top of our, um, our hat. We now need to um, stick that onto the brim of our, our hat. So the easiest way to do that is to put lots of little pieces of masking tape all the way round the bottom of the hat. like so and then that now can stick down into the center of the the brim and push that masking tape down 
like so. Okay, so now we've started to get our hat shape. And then what I would do is cover that completely and all around this edge as well. So we've got a really nicely formed flat surface to paint. So you then have a completely covered little hat. So what you're gonna do now with that one is paint it white, give it a blast with the, um, the hairdryer, and then you need to paint some bright red stripes on it, like this one, okay? So that one now can sit on the top of our cat in the hat. So I recommend using Yoohoo glue for this. Um, it's a lot stronger than PVA. If, if, you, if PVA is all you've got, then that's fine, but just be aware that um, things might be slippy and slidey. So just um, try not to move it while it's drying. If you've got a hot glue gun, that would be even better. So we're gonna put some glue on the top of our, um, on, well, on the bottom of the hat, and we're gonna stick that on like so. So now it's really starting to look like the cat in the hat. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is make some um, legs and arms and some feet. And for this, um, what you need is oh, the hat fell off. <laughs> Let me just put that one back on. I think I just bodged that, so we'll just stick that back on and I'm going to move that right out of the way. You might need to make sure that it's pushed down firmly. Um, and I've just moved that set right out of the way so I don't knock it this time. So, as I was saying, you're going to need to make some feet because the way that they dingle dangle over the edge of the shelf is the weight in the feet on that, um, that felt. So we need to make sure that the feet are a bit heavier than the, um, the legs. So if you cut yourself some feet, some long feet like this, and then using the masking tape again, just make them a bit tidier around the edges by sticking some masking tape on, like so. And obviously you want two of these for the, for the long feet. So once you've done that, it should look like this and you need two of those. Then you also want to do um, two, sm two smaller ones for the, um, for the arms and the hands. Um, so that you have two like this, and then you're going to paint them black. So here's one I've already um, painted black. Um, and then you also want to paint, once that's dry, a little bit of white in on the top of there. So the idea is that you've got two feet and two hands. So I've already done my feet. I've painted them black and then I've put the, um, the white um, details and some claws on there. So that's my, my feet. And then I've got one of the hands there. I've already painted um, the white gloves that he wears. So I'm just gonna show you how to, to paint the other one. Um, so with a little bit of black paint and that thin brush again, we're gonna paint on a hand. So um, he's got, I think he's got four fingers. So we're just going to paint those in as quickly as we can. And then there's some little lines on his gloves going across the other way. So we're just going to put those on as well. Okay, so now we've got two hands and two feet. Now what we do, need to do is make some um, arms and legs. And this is just made out of strips of felt. So I've already cut mine. Um, you want two that are a bit shorter for the arms and then the um, longer ones for the legs. Um, what we're gonna do is stick on the, 
the feet on the bottom and hopefully the glue will be dry enough without falling off like the hat did just now. Um, but you're going to put those feet down facing towards you. Okay, so I'm just going to put those to the side to dry. And then you're going to do the same for the arms. But these are probably going to be a bit too long. So I'm just going to trim them off a little bit and make them a little bit thinner. So I think the arms for, m for my toilet roll, um, if you've got a bottle or maybe if you're using a um, kitchen roll, toilet roll, a uh, kitchen roll uh, inner, then you might need to make your arms a bit, bit longer. So I'm just going to make the other one the same. Same sort of width. And then what we're going to do again is add our hands on the front again, facing downwards. Like so. And then the other one just on there. I'll just touch that. black paint when it was a little bit wet. I'm just going to touch up where I've uh, bodged it a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is just give that a little gloss with a hairdryer before I touch it again. So once you've got your um, your hands and your feet attached to the legs and the arms, you can then attach it to your cat in the hat. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of glue at the top and stick that on one side of the body and little bit of glue on the other side and you just want a bit of glue at the top because you you want the, the arms to kind of dangle down as well so add to the whole dingle dangle effect and then what we're going to do is the same for the the feet but we're going to make sure that the the feet are facing upwards, like so. And the easiest way to do this is to put the glue onto the top of the legs, like that. And then put our body on top of that glue, like that. And we're just going to leave that without moving it too much while that glue setting. And while the glue setting, we're just going to make a little um, red bow. Now, on my little example, I've used um, a red ribbon. If you haven't got a red ribbon, then what you can do is with a little bit of red um, paper um, or card, if, um, if you've got a cereal box that maybe has um, some part of it's red you could you could just use that little section because you don't need very much so um, I'm going to just do this freehand you can cut it out um, uh, draw it out first if you want to so I'm just gonna cut a bow shape out of my red paper So, okay, and we can just stick that on the top of our um, cat in the hat with a little bit of glue, 
and put that in position. Okay. And there he is. He'll happily sit on your shelf and guard your books while you're at home, off school, doing lots and lots of schoolwork, as I'm sure you all are. Now, if you're not really into Cat in the Hat, you could do any of your favourite characters. So um, here's one I made earlier. As I said, this was a workshop that I did many, many years ago, and these uh, bookends live in my studio. Um, but this one is um, a Harry Potter that I made. So exactly the same process. Um, there's the head um, that's been sculpted and made into, um, pushed down into the um, the toilet roll. Obviously, this one was done with a, um, a plastic bottle, but it's the same thing. You can make that body um, just the same. And then it's just a case of making um, the arms and the legs, but in different colours. And obviously Harry has to have a, um, a cape because he's a wizard. Um, so you can add all those different uh, details, um, including a little uh, broom for his games of Quidditch. So just put that up there. Um, so you can just let your um, imaginations run wild with which other characters you want to, to create but hopefully um, just with um, toilet rolls, bit of newspaper and some masking tape and a drop of paint you should be able to come up with all sorts of wonderful ideas. So I hope that's inspired your creativity today. Um, as you can see I'm still in the studio delivering um, these little tutorials, um, still in, in the dining room which is my makeshift studio uh, to deliver these um, these tutorials. I don't know how for how much longer this is going to be my makeshift studio, but we'll see. Um, hopefully that's um, inspired you and um, I'll see you next week for uh, Monday Make and um, I'll drop in the comments what it's going to be and let you know so that you can gather up all those materials. So I think that's it for now. Hope you're safe and well and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.